So last night I was having a conversation about the song Reincarnated by Kendrick Lamar. And we came up with a whole synopsis about why he humanized Lucifer and the power in him human. And Lucifer. And then I get up this morning and see this. Him deciding to retell the story of Lucifer to justify him no longer needing to feel like he always have to have to be revengeful. He doesn't have to choose the evil side. But in the same token, it's like we all have that in us. Nobody is above critique. And we too can show signs of being fucking evil and bad. Yeah, you have all these great plans. Yeah, you 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 have all these great intentions. But who are you hurting along the way when you're only thinking about yourself gain? Um, the way he humanizes Lucifer is so refreshing um, because you have to remember the story of Lucifer. He was once an angel, right? And that's just to go to show you that great minds think alike. It is a beautiful thing that he did this because now you can look at Lucifer's attributes instead of his lore. Instead of looking at him like some man on fire that just wants to drag you to hell with him, you can look at his attributes. And what is his attributes? Extremely in influential, generational talent. Defiance disorder, jealous, arrogant, and if left to his own devices, will destroy himself. Now, think about the people who he describes that are in his lineage, in Kendrick's lineage, that are also like musical generational talents. And as Lucifer was in heaven, like just the most gifted musically. And he follows in these lineage, and then you see these people when left to their own devices, they're arrogant, they're extremely selfish, they have a defiance disorder towards authority, and they all end up dying alone. And whether that be to drugs or whether that just be to, you know, womanizing, being selfish, taking advantage of other people, only only thinking about themselves in, in most cases. And then you think about where he's coming from in the aspect of like, facing himself into pimp a butterfly right with this newfound fame and how he's kind of separated himself from his community and in and, and song like in the songs where he's yelling to the top of his lungs and, and drinking himself to death because of things that's going on back home with his friends but now he's on his own personal journey right and he's trying to like reckon with the fact that like yes i have all this talent but now i'm also in this industry and this industry is going to feed me evils and the more I get into these evils, the further I, I am away from helping those who helped me get here and helping those who I care about the most. And then you fast forward to Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers and him reckoning with not only his childhood trauma, but his own traumas that he still deals with as a man and trying to better himself, better himself as a person and face, you know, all of his own shortcomings and also like re relinquish himself of this savior complex. Um... And then you think about the idea that he's breaking the curse of Lucifer. He's breaking that Luciferian curse where, okay, like, maybe I don't need to be as defiant to authority. Maybe I should be able to wait my turn. Um, maybe I need to deal with, like, give up some of these vengeful ways. Maybe I need to use my influence for good. You know what I'm saying? Just because I have the talent, just because I'm the one in the spotlight doesn't mean that everybody else in the shadows is irrelevant. And that's kind of the mentality that I picked up from that. It's like breaking that curse of Lucifer, not necessarily doing a deal with the devil because of the industry, but doing a deal with the devil because of how the devil chose to use his talents for bad and not use them to, you know, glorify God. You know this song specifically, it makes you think about comic debt that you collect and then you are indebted to just like you have credit debt just like you have your scores just like you have all of these things that makes the system work it's the same thing with the cosmic you are energetic being you are connected to everything that needs to be connected to we are not separated we are not separated at all we are more intertwined even with things that you are not aware of even things that you do not think that you're connected to. If I say that you're connected to an animal, would you believe me? If I say you're connected to a tree, would you believe me? If I say you're connected to the air, 
that you breathe with. You believe me that the sea and the air know how to communicate with each other. That the sky knows how to communicate with the trees. That even with our skin, it communicates with everything. We are not intertwined. Like we collect chemical. Like it makes you realize and think that we've been living in a world that isolates us, that does not want us to think critically, that does not want us to grow spiritually, mentally. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. We live in a world that is ruled by people who make money. And Kendrick tells us that Lucifer can be you. And then you are equally as God. You are equally Lucifer. You are equally Michael. You are equally you can be that person. You can because it's a state of consciousness when you think of it. It's a state of consciousness that you embody and then that cause that state of consciousness that you have entered in has the ripple effects of it own and then depending on how many people you have tied yourself to you'll come back here again and again redeeming yourself constantly upgrading your soul basically always constantly just and you won't remember that's the nicest thing you won't remember that you were here but your footprint the, the energy the cosmic never forgets because it's all one it's all you it's not separated from you and that's that's the thing that's the thing that we never get and i will think to myself like what is the purpose like i would sit here and like somebody just said we are humans like woke up and be like these are people sometimes i always think about things that don't even make sense like right now i think i'd be like really like as if i was born to just be alive And finding out my purpose of why I'm alive. And sometimes you die not even knowing what your purpose is because you live in a society that tells you who you are. That tells you you need to go get a job, go to college, get married, have kids, and then you do what the society expects you to do. You never find out who you are. And then even after doing that, you find that nothing really fulfills you. Having children doesn't fulfill you. Being married doesn't fulfill you. There's just this hole. You're just not empty. In fact, you're even more hollow than you were before you did all of those things. Because you haven't worked upon yourself. You haven't. You think that that person in your life somehow has a way of making you feel whole. Feeling whole is your responsibility. Feeling complete is your nest to baby only you need to take care of that and that song does a good job in analyzing that flaws and attributes of those flaws